Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, here for a short little video. <laughs> Um, for eighth day dawning, I think is where I'm posting this one. Um, you know, if you'd have told me 10 years that I was actually going to talk on the next topic that I'm going to speak on, um, I'd have looked at, I would have probably looked at, looked at you like you had grown two heads. We're going to discuss penises today because there seems to be some issues with men not knowing what a real penis looks like, I guess, or women knowing what a penis looks like. Because they've brought up this topic of Baphomet, and they are wrongly calling it a female goat. Well, you know, let's put the blame where the blame is due. I mean, we can't say that they really know what a penis looks like, I guess. So you can't really say that, you know, they're to blame for, for stupidity and all that. Um, but Baphomet is what they were discussing and calling it a female goat. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere in this picture is there a female goat. There's a male goat with a set of breasts, which I have to think that if you're calling this a female goat, that your your thinking is aligning with exactly what is going on today, with those men who are putting dresses on and maybe having a little bit of breast augmentation so they can take their dressy off and play with their boobies in the mirror. Um, but they still have all the male parts in play and. So I, I tend to think that you're in that school of thought, that you're perfectly fine with calling them female. If you're calling Baphomet, and i got to tell you, this is a funny picture. It's horrid. <laughs> I traced it off of Wikipedia. And just this one, so you can see the head. It's clearly, I don't know, can you even see it here? Uh, there we go. See how horrid that is? But that's clearly a male head. I didn't get the... The female breasts all that good. And then the lower part that they would have you believe is is um somehow female genitalia. Um I don't know that I guess these are males and females who have never seen an erect penis in their life. I guess. It's 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 a shame that I actually have to teach adults this. But this is it enlarged, okay? This is the female goat. Right there. There she is. There's the female goat. There's the breast, which is why they call it a female goat. But you you understand it's female goat. Baphomet has a bull, has has a male goat set. Now you understand another name for the goat, the male goat, not the female goat. The male goat in the Bible is called Satyr. Now S A Y T R. I think I'll post it down below, and it also means devil. And we know that it was the male goat that climbed to her mountain and either cast her off or murdered her um, so that he could put his own scepter in place. You see, because what we discovered in the Exodus is that the men were taking the harlot in covenant, which would be, I suppose, representative of the breasts on the bathomet. Um because she completely disappears from view and he takes charge of everything and makes his penis the scepter, I guess, which is absolutely the way that he rules, um, his, his dirty thoughts. And as you can see, the two serpents here wrapped around his idea of what a scepter is, I guess. Um, this, the, the serpents, we realize, represent wise women. And we saw that the men in the nation of Israel were actually rejecting their own wise women for this sick scepter. <laughs> of these harlots that were coming in and teaching the men a religious lie on their tongue so that they would reject their own women, their own scepter. Which is why you get Moses making a scepter, a piece of wood. It wasn't a dick. It wasn't the emblem of a, I'm sorry, of a penis. That's what they come to be, though. Just, I mean, they don't think with what's between here. They think with this thing right here. That's what's ruling in here. That's the covenant you're in with him, too. When you're building his house up and tearing your down, you're nothing else but a set of breasts on his male body um, to play with. Um, it, it's offensive. This is an offensive picture. Anyway, Moses is told to make a, a, a branch with the female, this serpent, wrapped around it. And any of the men that would look to that one would live. So that was symbolizing the wise women in the nation of Israel. So in, in a sense, you're seeing the two covenants, which is also representative of his foreskin. He tried to actually grow a second penis, yeah. 
is the idea. I know it sounds crazy. Just like, I mean, hey, who wouldn't believe that Baphomet is, means also a female goat? There's absolutely no symbology in here of female, other than the fact that he enlarged his breasts um, with probably some injection and hormonal injection and whatnot. Because it's a male head, um, it's got an erect penis, you know, it'll pretty much get turned on by anything is kind of what that's saying. Um, and, and then you got these, what, what murderer was it? Serial killer that when he was, I forget which one it was, that when he went to prison and lived in prison, more or less like a king, more or less, he injected himself with this, the female hormone so he could grow breasts so he could play with them while he was in prison. Well, that, that's what you're looking at. A satira demon, a devil, which is the same name of Satan, really. Uh, when you go and look at all your words in the New Testament, link them to the old. It's a, this is Baal, Baphomet. Um, um, what's the other one? The M O one, Malik. Um, it's all man. It's all to do with man. Man was like, oh, my penis is going to rule in the land, and the harlot spirit's going to be what I'm after. So the symbology of the breasts on his male body is just simply a symbol of what he, how he thinks of women. It's nothing more than a set of breasts to play with. You can't get that in the image of Baphomet. you got to slander the female goat that's in the Genesis 15, 9 covenant is what you think you're so cleverly doing. And you're too stupid, I guess, what you're telling me is you have no idea what an actual erect penis looks like. This was drawn by a Satan worshiper. I was just going to look his name up. I forget his friggin' name. It was all over the place there for, for a while. Um, he drew it, and then he told you feminine, masculine. That's what this symbolized. Nowhere does this symbolize female. Look at it. Look at it. It's all male. But because he told you that, you buy into it. It's just man worshiping himself and her as a something to play with. That's it. That's all that is. That's the symbol of current day covenant, of man in covenant, really with himself and her as his harlot building his house up. You don't get that, girls? You girls want to call that the image of, of Baphomet and throw in female goat in there? Debase yourself much? This is only just a way for men to build up their idol. That's all that is. Build up Jesus to call that a female goat? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> don't know what an erect penis look like I asked my son I said okay without me even telling you what this is can you tell me what that looks like oh come on mom it looks like he said an erect penis I mean come on people grow up grow brain don't rely on some idiot who wants to build up his male idol and himself in the process and fall for every lie that he's going to throw at you without going and researching it yourself, which is the problem with the world today. They'll buy into any lie. So I just had to address this because I've been seeing it in multiple places, this Baphomet as a female goat. Oh, my God. Can you not see it? Shame on you for being so stupid and gullible. Anyway, there's my short video on Baphomet, the female goat. <laughs> I laughed because all I saw was them trying to make a dig at the she-goats that I've been talking about, which is in the covenant of God, that will be exalted back to the throne that they stole. And she's exalted in Isaiah 52. And one of her terms is female goat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But, to, you know, for me to say female goat, their brain apparently sees this. Baphomet. <laughs> reason much? Oh, reason much? No. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's offensive. I know to have to think hard is offensive to most. Thanks for watching. I pray the Lord does bless you with sense and reasoning and her wisdom. And I pray y'all have a lovely day. It's going to be bitter cold today here. And um, thanks again.